Okay, <clears throat> in this uh, quick tutorial video, I will go over the basics of the thesis statement. And there's some key topics I want you to know that it organizes, it states a topic, it states an opinion. Beware, since students seemingly are nervous about this, the thesis statement. So, the students are often very nervous about writing thesis statements, but thesis statements are not nearly as difficult as people make them out to be. They actually follow a fairly simple formula. You may have been taught something along the lines of the three-part thesis when you were in high school. Uh, this is not really a formula that is uh, considered very good anymore. Uh, we actually have a single two-part thesis now where you do subject plus opinion. And I'll talk a bit about that uh, during this lesson and I'll also talk about what a thesis statement is and what it isn't. Uh, if you are looking in the 2015-16 Comp Ret Guide uh, that you are required to have for 101 and 102, uh, the thesis statement is actually discussed on page 93, and it goes into a lot more detail on how to develop a thesis statement. Uh, so let's begin. So what is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is the main argument, point, idea, or opinion of an essay. Think of it as an answer to a question someone may have on a topic. So how was it created? Thesis statements are created by a simple formula. Subject plus opinion equals thesis. And I want you to remember this, uh, remember this formula. It's pretty easy. There's some variations on it for the different rhetorical modes. But for the most part, every essay, for the most part, is going to be persuasive in some way, an argument in some way, an argument for certain ideas in some way. And your goal is to convince your reader to agree with you about this position. So you would state your subject, what exactly it is you're writing about, and uh, you would let them know what your opinion is on that subject. For example, what is the subject of this film trailer? Okay, so I kind of skipped over it, but uh, if you watch film trailers, uh, you can look up this old film trailer for The Blob by Steve McQueen. And if you had watched that, you would see that it is actually about the creature, the blob. And then after the trailer, you would say, do you think this is a good movie? And uh, what you just wrote is a rough draft thesis. So if you watch that trailer, and I do recommend you do uh, watch it because it is really funny, uh, you would say, okay, this is good or bad. The Blob is a good movie because uh, the trailer shows that uh, it has lots of suspense. That would be a rough draft thesis. Uh, so th if you think about it as uh, your opinion on something and the reason you hold that opinion, that actually uh, is a little better than the subject plus opinion formula. gives you a little more detail. Let's practice some more. Remember the formula. Subject, zombies plus opinion should be avoided. So we have this thesis statement, zombies should be avoided. Uh, that's something that's arguable, uh, although I would hope that nobody would go to embrace a zombie. So, what a thesis is not. So, you know, when I was growing up, that's what we thought of the vampires, Nosferatu. They were ugly demonic things that could sometimes mask themselves in beauty. Uh, they didn't see themselves in mirrors. When they were hit by sunlight, they turned to dust, uh, and they were afraid of crosses. This is not a vampire, for those of you that are Twilight fans. So there are things that are sometimes thought of as vampires, but aren't, are, sorry, vampires, as thesis statements, but aren't really thesis statements, okay? And there are three, four items that I'm showing you here. A question. A thesis statement cannot be a question. Uh, it can't be a fact statement. So if it's something that is pretty much agreed upon as fact, then uh, it's not really worth writing about. A taste is when we're thinking about something we enjoy and whether something is, uh, you know, other people should uh, 
entertain this idea or, or this type of music or this type of food. And it also can't be a complete incomplete sentence. So let's go into some more detail. Why can't it be a question? Because in an essay, authors are expected to make an argument. The reader is not the one making the argument. Why can't it be a fact statement? If it were, the essay would actually be a report. A fact does not have to be proved or disproved. It is simply true. Why can't it be a taste or preference? If it were, the essay would be unable to persuade readers, as in everyone should like heavy metal music. The statement does not persuade. In fact, it dissuades people from supporting your opinion. Not everyone can like heavy metal music. So this is something to think about because it kind of contradicts with what we were saying about The Blob being a good movie or a bad movie. If you think back to that as a rough draft statement, I said that you would have to add some sort of qualifier. Why do you think it's a good state, a good movie or a bad movie? Well, it's the same thing for this. If you want to say heavy metal music is uh, music that requires technical pre precision and therefore uh, can be appreciated by a wider audience than it currently is, that would be a thesis statement. But saying heavy metal is awesome, bro, that's not a thesis statement. All right. So... Why must it be a complete sentence? Because it is an essay, and essays require correct grammar. So there are four ways to test your thesis statements. Is it clear? Is it a complete sentence? Is it an argument? Or is it defensible? Let us review. What is a thesis statement? What is the formula that can help you write a thesis statement? And what are some of the things a thesis cannot be? And finally, how is the thesis statement tested? So if you can answer these four questions, uh, you're in a good spot, and you should be able to develop a thesis from your research. If one of these questions uh, is a struggle for you, you should go back and re-watch this video and uh, use it to help you develop your thesis statement for class.